It's Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. In today's Rhapsody article on the 4th of November is titled, Baptized into His Name. The opening verse is from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost in the New Testament is Jesus. The Apostle understood this and baptized people in the name of Jesus. In Acts chapter 19, Luke recounts Paul's encounter with the twelve men in Ephesus who, like Apollos, were zealous followers of John the Baptist's teaching of repentance but weren't conversant with the baptism of Jesus. After Paul's dialogue with them, the Bible says they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. The scripture reference is from Acts chapter 19, verse 3 to 5. It further makes it evident that the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus. But something else that isn't immediately obvious in Paul's encounter with those twelve disciples in Ephesus is when he asked them, Unto what then were ye baptized? Notice the word unto is from the same Greek word that translates as into. So, when you are baptized, you are baptized into something. In essence, Paul was asking those men, Into what then were you baptized? This suggests something deeper than just being immersed in water for baptism. The connotation of this verse is better deciphered in some newer translation such as the NIV. It says, On hearing this, they were baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus. When you are baptized in water, you are baptized into Jesus Christ, not just in the name. That is the significance of it. Apart from the minister who is baptizing you, doing it in the name of the Lord Jesus, which is part of it, the most significant part of it is that you are actually baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus. Water baptism therefore seals the legal aspect of your union with Christ. This is from Romans chapter 6, verse 3 to 4. Blessed be God. Let us take the prayer for today. Thank you, Father, for giving us the name of Jesus to live in and live by. I am baptized into Christ and I've become inseparably one with Him. For, I, for in Him, I live, move, and have my being. I live in and by the name of Jesus. And I rule and dominate my world by the power of that name. Glory to God. During the times of further studies, you can look to Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Acts chapter 8, verse 16, and Acts chapter 10, from verse 47 to 48. Thank you for tuning in for today's Rhapsody reading, and I will see you tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.